Hello, this is Mr. Huff, and let's talk about how to decision matrix. This is really important if you're working with a team and everybody has ideas that they have brainstormed. And now you're trying to figure out which is the best one to solve the problem. And rather than having a long debate, it's a good idea to sit down and score each one so that it's fair. So we're going to use some values. If it's four, it's really favorable. That means it does this really well or it makes it where the outcome is really positive. And all the way down here at the other end is a one and that means it doesn't do it very well. So we have three ideas here and if you brainstorm, you need way more than three ideas. This is just a model. So we're going to compare these three ideas based on cost, durability, is it easy for the user to use, and how long is it going to take to build. These are the criteria we came up with. You will need to come up with your own based on the needs of the problem you're trying to solve. So cost, if we look at this, we say, well, number three is going to be really cheap to build, and that makes it favorable. Number one is going to be expensive to build, and number two, probably going to be a little expensive, but not as expensive as number one. Durability, whatever we build has to be durable. So we're gonna say that idea number three is going to be fairly durable. Idea number two is going to be really durable. Then you just score all of these items and then add the totals up until you have filled the entire table. So based on this matrix, after comparing cost, durability, ease of use, and time to build, the best solution for you to try to produce is this one, idea number three, because it has the highest score. If you have some ties, it's a good idea to add in some additional categories to help separate and see which one is actually the best solution. This is nice because it makes it fair for everybody that's bringing ideas to the table. I hope you find this useful.